how about I ask you out and we go to a cafe? You know what? I love cafes. I don't know if it's just because I'm British, but bro, cafes are underrated, okay? Going in and like getting a hot chocolate from a cafe, they always taste slightly different. I don't know why. And then getting like just some toast, like toast and jam. Mmm, shit's so good. And also the cafes that serve like a uh, full English breakfast. Oh my God. Oh my God. I think it's because when I was younger, my mum would take me to a lot of like local cafes because the UK has loads of cafes. I don't know, maybe the whole, the whole world has a lot of cafes, but the UK definitely has loads and loads of cafes. They're pretty much everywhere. Almost the same frequency as like, uh, like bars or not bars. What, what are they called? Like pubs, sorry. Yeah, it's almost the same frequency as pubs in the UK. So many cafe city, yeah. I love cafes. So many cafe city, crowded. You know, something I noticed though, cafe culture in Japan, fuck me. All the cafes in Japan are so busy. Like, maybe it's just because I was in Tokyo, but bro, every single one, a lot of these cafes, you have to like book in advance to get in there. You know, like you literally have to book in advance just so you can go eat there. It's fucking crazy. Overpriced as fuck too. Uh, yeah, a lot of them are overpriced. I feel like I spent a lot of money on food there. Food is quite expensive. Unless you go to like the secret areas, you know? Yeah, you need reservations, yeah. Fancy cafes, yeah, I went to, uh, I went to a cafe, uh, with me, Rosami. Oh, me, Rosami, Mika. Luca and Shu. Yeah, we went to like this one little cafe and we had like this, this like hamburger thing, hamburger cheese thing. And then we had like a, I think we had some, like an ice cream sundae after as well. I'm not sure. It was really nice. It, the cafes in Japan, they always try to make stuff look cute. <laughs> like everything always looks cute. Even the most normal things. If you're having like a Sunday or whatever, like they'll just put like a small little cat face on it for no reason. It's like, oh, I mean, I like it. I like cute things, so why not? You know? <laughs> you should try an anime, an anime themed cafe sometime. Yeah, uh, actually, I wanted to go to, um, uh, what was it? It was like, it was like Pudin, Pudin something. It's like the yellow pudding dog cafe. I wanted to go to that one. Yeah, Pom Pom Pudding. That's the one. The reason why we didn't go is because you have to book in advance, which is what I was saying earlier. Like, the fact you have to book in advance for places. It's kind of foreign to me, you know? Because, like, in the UK, normally, if you want to go to, like, a normal cafe or something, you just walk in. But for that one, you had to, like, pre-book. There's another cafe genre in Japan called uh, Jun Kisa or Kisaten. It's a classic tea room with retro atmosphere. It's not so busy than the normal cafe, so you, maybe you can feel calm there. Oh, maybe. I, I can't wait to go to Japan again someday. I feel a lot more comfortable now. Now that I've been like around, like on my own and stuff. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you liked it, make sure you leave a like and a comment. Also, maybe share it with a friend. And if you check the description box below, you can see my sponsor for today. Thank you.